All right, let's talk a little bit about these absolute value stuff. Okay, so uh, this is very abstract. Uh, a would just be a number. Sometimes they may use 5. Sometimes it may be 10. It doesn't matter what number it is, which is why they used a letter, which I apologize for, and I know it's confusing. Just understand, please, that A is a number. Okay? Now, with this in mind, uh, this is just an equation which was part of the last section. So technically, this doesn't necessarily apply other than that hopefully you remember this, that we had the two answers as part of this. But we don't really need to look at this in terms of inequalities and absolute values, which is what this section is on. What we need to understand is that if the absolute value, and this can be x plus something, it can be x times something, it can be divided by something and subtracted something in both of these. It's not going to matter, okay? Not only that, but it doesn't matter if it's equal to either, okay? Let's take a look at what this means, this first one right here, okay? x, the absolute value of x is less than uh, or equal to a, I suppose. Uh, let's go and give ourselves a number line, all right? So let's say the absolute value of x Let's just say that it's less than 2, so that we don't have to write so many numbers. So if we look at 0 and we went to 2, uh, we'll just go in the other direction because you'll find out that it's very convenient for me. Uh, well, what values of x, the absolute value of that, would be less than 2? Well, uh, if it was just x is less than 2, then all of these would be included. And since 2 is not included, we would use that curved bracket or parentheses like that, right? The question is, what happens when we get into the negatives? Well, we know that negative 2 would make it equal, so it's not included. But as soon as x, as soon as we replace an x with any negative that is bigger than negative 2 or equal to negative 2, then this becomes a false statement. So... This means that all of these values are included as well, okay? So these would be the values in interval notation. It would start at negative 2, and it would go all the way to the right to 2, neither of which are included. On the other hand, okay, uh, let's go ahead and ignore this one because that's the one that we just did. Let's go ahead and take a look at the absolute value of x being greater than some value. So we'll take the absolute value of x, we'll make it greater than some number, such as, uh, I don't know, 7, okay? Well, if we go to 7, we start at 0, we'd go to 7, on the other side would be negative 7. Well, notice, x is greater than 7, right? So in terms of positives, positive values of x, 8 would work because the absolute value of 8 is greater than 7 because 8 is greater than 7. Any of those positive values that are greater than 7 will work. Uh, in fact, uh, let's do this just a tiny bit different. We'll go and make these uh, also equal to, okay? Uh, that's just going to change the bracket. Instead of curved, it's going to be a square type bracket. And anything to the right of 7 will work. 8 will work, 7.1 will work, a million will work. It will, if we replace x with those values, we're going to get a true statement here. Now, what about negative values of x? Well, negative 7 would work, right? Because if we took the absolute value of negative 7, it would actually equal 7. And is 7 greater than or equal to 7? Yes, yes it is, because it's equal to. So we know it's included, so it's going to be square bracket. Okay, the thing is, is as soon as we go to negative 8, notice we're moving farther away from 0. Okay, this is getting bigger. This distance between 0 and the number we're using is getting bigger and bigger, meaning that the absolute value of these negatives is going to be greater than this positive 7. Okay, so that's also included. Anything to the left of that is included in it, okay? Now, this would be square if we change that. But that is why these are kind of pointing in opposite directions. 
And based on what we went before, uh, what we talked about before, that's why these ones are sandwiched between these opposite values here. 